Choosing the right cloud platform can be a nuanced conversation for Tech Republicans. Net. I'm Dan Patterson with Larry Dignan. Larry, how do the various cloud providers, Google, IBM, Amazon, Microsoft, stack up in this year's report? Well, it, it's pretty interesting. It, for the first time, we actually have data on all the public cloud vendors. Um, you know, AWS, we had plenty of data on that because they broke it out in their earnings report. Um, but the kind of the sea change happened when Microsoft talked about their commercial cloud and gave some comparisons for that. And, and then all the pieces sort of came together when Google said on its um, fourth quarter earnings conference call a while back that their cloud all in, which is G Suite and Google Cloud Platform, is now a billion dollars a quarter revenue business. So on a run rate perspective, that puts Google about four billion dollars a year in cloud revenue. Um, that's still kind of small, like, you know, Microsoft's commercial cloud, which is probably the most direct comparable. Uh, it has Azure and Office 365 with Office 365 kind of carrying most of the load there. Um, that's like a $21.2 billion business. Uh, AWS is a $20.4 billion a year business, and this is run rate. Um, and then you have IBM a little bit north of 10, and you have Oracle at 6. So Google's like right under Oracle in terms of cloud. And then the other up and comer is Alibaba, which is primarily, you know, it's basically the AWS of China in a lot of ways. Um, and that's a $2.2 billion revenue run rate business. Um, you know, so this data coupled with, you know, a report from a company called RightScale, uh, which basically surveys its customers every year and, you know, shows Alibaba Cloud kind of coming up on the radar, too. Um, so, so there's, you know, you kind of get now the data is there enough to where you can kind of see who the, like, we all knew the big dogs were Microsoft and AWS, but now the rest of that picture is filling in a bit. Um, so it's pretty interesting overall. And what about uh, enterprise adoption? Uh, enterprise adoption, it's really an Azure AWS story. Um, and then the partnership to really watch right now in the enterprise is VMware running on AWS. Uh, if you recall last year, VMware and AWS formed a partnership, um, which really rounds out that hybrid cloud, that private cloud strategy. And it's pretty interesting because VMware, VMware cloud on AWS basically came out of nowhere in terms of adoption to, you know, it's above, it's right below um, IBM cloud at this point. So you give it more time, the pecking order could wind up looking like AWS, Azure, and then VMware on AWS. So you kind of look at it, and you're like, wow, you can kind of see where AWS is really, really covering its bases in the enterprise cloud. And the hybrid is uh, coming flat fast, correct? Yeah, well, the hybrid's already here, really. Um, I just think it's getting more you're seeing more partnerships between the public cloud players and the private cloud players than the data center folks. Like, you know, for, right after that VMware AWS partnership kicked in, uh, you saw Cisco team up with Google Cloud Platform, right? So the idea is that you're taking your data center, private cloud infrastructure, and you're coupling it with public cloud as needed. Um, and you know, Microsoft Azure doesn't really have to do that because they have all those Windows servers implementations out there where they can just kind of plug into Azure. At least that's the theory. So, so you look at that and you, you kind of see everybody getting their dance partners and it's just becoming a much more mature industry overall. And you know, this is, this is probably the first year where you actually see the dance partners, the data, it's, it's all starting to add up pretty well. What role does uh, advanced analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence play in cloud adoption? It's huge. Um, I think depending on how you look at it, like AWS already has a lot of the installations. Um, so they're adding AI and machine learning, and that's sort of like a value added cell, right? Microsoft Azure, similar story. They have a base. They're using the Internet of Things and to tie it into analytics and machine learning and AI. And then you have somebody like Google Cloud who basically is using AI first as a way to sell you to get the infrastructure into the enterprise. 
Um, I think as this plays out, I think there's not going to be a such thing as one AI vendor that you standardize on. I mean, I think there's, I think you're likely to have AWS's AI platform. You're going to have Microsoft's, you're going to have Google's, you're going to have anybody who's works. Right. So I think, I think artificial intelligence in the cloud really becomes about managing a portfolio of machine learning services over time. I don't think, I don't think any one of them is going to be the answer. All right, uh, Larry, what's the best place for people to learn more about how different cloud vendors stack up on ZDNet? Uh, well, the story we have that goes with this video is up, um, and we kind of cover it ongoing. Um, in terms of our special reports, we have it, so you can kind of look at what vendor should be your AI platform. We cover from multiple angles, so, so it's kind of clouds all over the site pretty much. 